Hello everyone and welcome to my presentation on implant placement and loading protocols in partially edentulous patients where we're going to do a deep dive into the proceedings of the sixth RTI consensus conference really from a clinical perspective um, which is based on a systematic review done by Gallucci uh, and our team which focuses on combining the concepts of the timing of implant placement together with loading protocols as these are two clinically inseparable items. You know, every implant that's placed has a timing of implant placement and a timing of loading. The concepts I'm going to present to you will emphasize how these two distinct time points cannot really be separated or looked at individually. We really need to look at it as a, a total protocol and workflow about how it influences our clinical decision making, as well as how it can influence the outcome from a perspective of success, survival, and of course, tied into that is going to be aesthetics and patient related outcomes. But let's start to look at things and I want you to picture what we're seeing at here. And, you know, what you're seeing here is a mandibular arch and several extraction sockets. And try to imagine, you know, after extraction of a tooth, what are the factors that you would consider when it comes to placing an implant in these sockets here? Uh, would you consider doing immediate implant placement? Do we find there's available anatomy to do that? Do we have enough apical bone? When we look at some of these areas where we can see the thin area through the apices of the canines, do we have issues with lingual and palatal bone in anatomical restrictions in placing these implants? Are there issues with the thicknesses of the labial plate of bone as well as the buccolingual dimension 